Okay, so hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I bought the uh, new Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mega Clustial Odyssey palette. Well, not since you was kind of like this is the Christmas holiday one. I got last year's holiday one right here. She looks like from last year's. Let's see other Pat McGrath Labs Mothership palettes. Yeah, the rose gold, and then this one is rose gold divine two, and mothership six. I want to say, I can't remember. So I do really enjoy Pat McGrath's formula when it comes to eyeshadow. They're really easy to blend. They can get pretty pricey. Sometimes that's the like, ooh, do I really want to spend the price? Most of my Pat McGrath palettes I have bought mostly on sale. Well, when I'm mean on sale, I use my um, points I gathered from Flora, redeem them, and get the hundred dollar the card thingy in the jobber because a I spent a lot of oops, oh, wrong brush one clean. And I get a lot of points from Sephora because hey, I spent a lot of money there. And I'm a Rouge member, so therefore I just redeem my points and get the kind of like a card and try to pay, pay that price. Pay like some yards instead of pay the, uh, the massive hard seventy dollar pretty type for the twelve pen. For the 12 pan palette, I think this one I bought on sale. This one right here, 12 pan, 170. The one I'm testing out today is the Mothership Pet Mega. Quite a bit in it, but not as much. Not as much. You don't get as much product in it, but $103 comparing $170. You get quite a bit. And I could tell you the look of the bout. I kind of have a quick look at it at what I picked when I quickly looked at it, making sure nothing was damaged on it before I. I was going to be like, oh, should I just open it? Like, it came in, like, it came pretty well wrapped up. It came in like a bubble wrapper, a bubble wrapper. And then in this box, that box, and then this. So it for me it felt like it was pretty good coming from Ontario all the way to BC. And then the look of this palette. And then here's this year's palette. It looks chunkier. And this was the last year's. A lot thinner. And then so I cut it all the ribbon off because they had a hard time staying open. That was the only downfall of the palette. This one I feel like I could keep the ribbon on because I could stay open because it kept it kept on falling. So this is the look of the so that's the look of the inside of this palette here. I'm actually gonna go to find the look of that palette. That's the look of this palette. I'm dying to play these. I don't know if I add. I wanted to play these two colors, but knowing me, I'll probably be playing this middle row. But I want to play that bluish color. Bluish or green, like. I want to play those two colors. But there's a part of me that says, like, this roll, this row right here, that's it. And then I feel like a lot of Pat McGrath Labs have that gold shade. Like, this one has that gold shade in it. Like, there's this one from last year. And then there's this one from last year. I feel like this one is a lot nicer setup than 
the one from the previous year. I think because this is her second one doing it. This is her very first time doing like a, like the Mothership palettes, like the Mothership, like Mother Mothership Mega palettes. This is the first time we're first one doing like this is like my gateway of like buying Pat McGrath palettes. I was making sure like the prices of them are like very expensive. Like this one is like $103 for this size. I could swallow that price. $107, $170 is like $12. Like, like, so yeah. Let's dive into this palette. I'll show you guys the swatches later on when I get home from work. So I don't know what's this most satisfying feeling is taking these off. So let's put on the eyes. I am gonna go with where are you? Pat paint Mac. Mac where are you? Over oh, there. I'm gonna swatch this when I get home from work. I can't swatch with this on right now. If you hear random noises going on in the background, I got my fireplace on. So yeah. The one thing I have to say about all my Pamagraph palettes I own is I don't like it when they don't got the names on the actual palette. It just drives me nuts. Like, gut on back here. I'm like, how am I supposed to know the names of it if I'm like reading on camera? Like, I'm like an average. Like, if I'm reviewing, it's like, it makes it hard for me to like do that. So, like, even my like mothership palette, my other shop, my other shop, they don't get the name on like, but they got the cards. So I'm like, I keep the cards on hand, but kind of really hard. I'm like reading back and forth. But then it doesn't really say which one they belong to on the cards either. So I'm like, okay, which one do you belong to? The thing is like one thing I go on is I wanna say VR no. This kid because when I go I just go on the divine divine dusk and I know it belongs to my divine palette. So let's dive in. Let's get started. If you hear some random noises that's going on because right now it's about 5.20. You might hear my dog going by because my dad's getting up here in a few minutes. Hopefully I can get this on the next time out if I highly really doubt it. My dog will be with you right here with dog running because it's 5.30 in the morning. She needs to go to the bathroom. She wants breakfast. So let's dive in. Let's and it also has a nice red color too. It's like... I'm a sucker for packaging sometimes, but like, is it really worth the packaging? Because of price. So, for transition, I'm gonna go in for this layer brown color right here, which I wanna say is where my brain is having a hard time understanding this. Either, no. Sunrose Amber. Maybe? I don't know. Brownie color. I'm going brown color in the shade with my Scott Orange brush. I've been actually really enjoying this brush. I'm like actually good good shader brushes. It's like a, it's a color of my favorite with my uh Pat McGrath. My, my, or my This is a little bit cake with not too much. It's up there with my uh I like it with my um Smashbox brushes. So yeah, hopefully this turns out really good because I gotta go to work here. I have to start work at six o'clock. Also, gold blackish color. It looks like almost like a this other color here too. Kind of like right here. It's like I don't know if you can see it, but it's like almost like holographic in a way. It's like one of those like nail polishes that I wear sometimes. But I'm definitely feel like I want to play that blue and green today. 
And so I'm trying to go with like a good neutral color in the crease. Hopefully it goes good here. The rest of my makeup is done. Been looking at some of holiday collection stuff so I'm like seeing if they're worth the price type thing like when it comes to skincare and all that stuff I kind of recommend the skincare and holiday packages you can get at Sephora because recently I just picked up I'm going to this dark brown here and the outside part of the crease I just bought the fresh I buy like buy skincare from for holiday packaging for the not the holiday packaging the uh, holiday like the holiday gift set because you can get a lot out of it for decent pricing. I got the fresh one. I think I paid one hundred fifty-two dollars for it, and you got I want to try like the they got the uh, black tea kombucha, no rinse. I'm like okay, I want to get that one to try for like the mornings. This brown, these maps though, are blending like a dream. And recently I just like, I was like actually baiting to film like two different videos right now. I was like, should I film this one first or should I, like, and I also just recently just found some LA girl like stuff, like out here in Canada. I'm like, oh sweet, LA girl, I've like, been trying to tie, like dying to, find this and like and I see my LA girl in my way so just makeup I like I test to try out makeup all the time and where do you manage to find it? <laughs> she's like oh I just ordered from Amazon oh okay I'm kind of eerie scared by stuff from Amazon when it comes to makeup honestly but like I wanted to like there's a few things I wanted to pick up from actually but um recently like review okay like now I'm gonna like okay I think ooh the blue or should I go with green or should I go with both Be fair, I'm actually kind of eerie wearing blue and greens, honestly. But this might be changing my mind, honestly. This is the most. I might go with green, but I'm not gonna go with green with my finger though. I'm like. I'm gonna go green and I'm gonna grab my pencil brushes and go in the corner of it. Oh my god. Shocking? That blue metallic is nice. I 
I'm gonna go with this green, but I'm gonna go in the green like right there. Just adding a little bit more of that brown just to make sure that the colors kind of blend into each other type thing. Again, I don't know what I'm feeling with these colors in general. Definitely need an eye Why my eyes in black. I'm gonna go with the metallic black to finish off. I think it needs to be a complete metallic eye today with these colors, I think. I don't know. These are pretty good. I'm be catching it, so I just add the Bambi lash onto the eyes. Kind of screwed up my hair a little bit. Something that needs something on the lower lash hair actually. I should have done it first, but I think I need some brown down here. Why my eyes a little bit brown from Milani? That looks a little bit better. Again, I'm going to go with the full swatches of the palette when I get home from work. Ooh. Yeah, so I play these two colors here. This is my comfortable row. Right here in the middle is my comfortable row. This is the color that I play in one. I don't play gold very often. I swear to God, my grab palette. It's almost have like this gold in every palette. Like, the only thing I don't think was gold in it was the, what was gold? Even this one had a gold in it. the goldy shade in it. And then bam gold. So I'll check in later on with full swatches best I can. Uh, yeah it'll be impossible to do it with my shirt on. So I'll see you guys later on. 
see how well this wears and I'll see you guys in a little bit so I'm hey guys I'm back from work so we're gonna go over the swatches here quickly best I can hopefully they work out great I am not very great at swatching so yeah so it worn pretty good come consider the fact today was a pretty calm day for me And I was like honestly looking really scared wearing this these colors, the blues and the greens in this palette. So it worn really well. I actually really enjoyed it. A few people are like, so go with the guy color today. And I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah. I am going to uh maybe get a sweater off quickly so you can see some of my shoulders. See how well I can do this with shoulder swatches. So yeah. Yeah, like it, it like you can't really go wrong with Pat McGrath palettes, like literally you can't go wrong. So like So this is the one I got last year, this is the one this year's. They are... Oh, I was playing the front. Yeah, so you get the same amount of weight, you get the same amount of nothing for everything. But the newer palette is a lot thicker than this one. And then it's a lot. Like I got the uh, older one, newer one in the front, older one in the back front, and the newer one in the back, slightly bigger. And then with this new one. I can see it, but you get the Pat McGrath Labs. It's like it's more spaced out in the way this one. <clears throat> like you can see the difference. This one's a lot more. It's almost like this part here, the palette. It looks like it's made exactly the same way as if you buy her $170 palettes. So like this, in a way it has that same plastic texture, so it might keep it more, keeps the uh, eyeshadow more in place so it don't pop out. Because I know a lot, they have a lot of issues with this one, with the breaking type things. So I, it's a lot more, um, they're like more and more compact in here more safer looking so I am not gonna name the names off of these this palette I'm just gonna go show you the swatches because I think I'm just gonna get really confused how to figure this out so yeah. That's the first one. Oh. That black one, bluish black one. But then again, I got very hairy arms, so I'm like, didn't blend too bad. I 
just a matte nocturne. I'm not sweating on the elbow. <laughs> Again, I don't know what my swatches are coming out looking like. Turn out really nice. So, <clears throat> if you hear random noises going on, a uh, hockey game's on right now. Clearly, the Canucks might score. that blue again. So I kind of got the two colors kind of backwards here. And then This watch really good. I like paying $103 for this palette. I paid a full tick price for that. Definitely worth it. Ah. I'm definitely gonna be playing this more again. So yes. It like my eyes did crease a little bit, but like it's a little bit crease, but it's like something like I'm like a Pat it in if I have to more. But I think this is just ha this, this, the, just a style of my eyes because they have a tendency because I got like tuck into like there so they tend to crease. So it doesn't matter which side shadow I wear. They have a tendency to do that. <laughs> this holiday collection from Pat McGrath. I was going to get the highlight the three highlight like the blush trio but I already own one of the blushes on it so I was like you know what I'm gonna get this one I think only one color here is in one of my other palettes but not in the other one in my this one was it was I can't remember which one it is I said early this morning You know, we get like little air bubbles in there. Yeah, they're kind of driving me nuts. So, yeah. Are you guys gonna pick up this collection from Pat McGrath? Are you guys excited? I want to say, I think I'm gonna hold on to get the holiday collection ones because I feel like they get the worth price because you get how many? 19? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Yeah, you get eighteen shadows comparing to this one where you get the uh, ten. But you get more mileage out of these palettes than you do this one. But when you break it down, I find this was a better deal. You get more shadow, you get less shadow. 
they get more colors. So yeah, are you guys gonna pick pick up this Pat McGrath palette? What is your what is catching your eye on the holiday collection? Recently, I just picked up the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha set type thing. So some of it is like I just got the Ensis. I'm trying the No Cleanse too. So yeah, I got a drugstore version video coming soon. I found LA Girl, like, I will. Like, I got some mascara, I got an eye pilot, an eye pilot, an eye pilot, an eye pipe, eyeshadow palette, palette, oh my god, it's been a long day work. This one, some concealer, and a lip pencil. And do I really need any more pencils? Because like, I tend to see to get more. I have a tendency. I prefer the drugstores or as I have like pencils, honestly. Like so, that video is coming soon. I don't know when I'm fil filming that because girls working five a.m. the next two days. <laughs> might I might just might be doing a declutter video here. For Friday, which I might just do my eye pencils and lip pencils all together. That might be easiest thing to do. So yeah, I'll post, keep you posted. Gotta edit this video. Get ready for tomorrow. You'll be seeing us today. So yeah, are you like? Yeah, so I'll see you guys again. I post new videos every Wednesday and Friday at 10 a.m. PSC. I'm Covered Action. And I'll see you guys.